Now, a lot of you are asking about this particular sterilizer made by the Wilmot uh, Castle Company. Um, so, I actually do not know very much history on this item. Um, but I can show you how it works. Now, this item does not physically turn on. We haven't been able to get it to turn on. So, um, my company, we've been working tremendously to find the history on this particular sterilizer. Now, the power cord, the first thing that we're gonna discuss, um, power cord. So this is the on-off switch. Um, as you can see, sorry, let me get it out of underneath. So as you can see, this switch probably won't work just because of that. Um, now we did plug it in to try, but on, off. Now it doesn't, no. That red dot right there, I don't know if you can really tell that it's red, I think it looks black in that picture. But this is a red light, this is the indicator, so when I plug this in and I flip it on, it should light up, but it doesn't. Um, now, this sterilizer is one of the biggest ones we have in stock. Um, we have a smaller one over there, as you can see. Um, that one also is, does not work. But to open it, you use what this is, this piece right here is called the receptacle. And I have a patent document on this item, which I will go over later or in, an, or in another video. Um, let's open this bad boy. So you just push on the lever, it opens. Um, this syringe did not come with it. This I bought separately. Um, this particular syringe is from, um, it's from Russia. So that particular syringe is from Russia. Um, but yeah, this one, kind of hard to do one-handed. Um, hang on. You yeah, can't do it one-handed. I think I did it a little bit. But, um, yeah, this is a glass hypodermic syringe. Now, this one, as you can see, kind of says 200 C, 200 degrees Celsius. That's how much heat it could take. Now, on to this, back to the sterilizer. Um, this came with it. I'm assuming that this was to put, like, needles or syringes, like my little guy. Um, this is a tray. This is not connected in any way. This whole tray comes out. Now, I'm just gonna pass the tray through. So yes, this is the tray. Okay, that's the tray. And that is the inside of the sterilizer. You can see a little bit better the receptacle. Yeah, so, see a little bit better. The inside is pretty dirty. We want to get the history and know, and we want to know how this item works before we start the restoration process. That is a policy we have at Old Glory Renewed. Just because we want to know how to do it so we don't damage the item even more and cause further problems in the restoration process. Now, that is pretty much all we really know on this sterilizer. Um, I am going to show you the identification tag. Now, this guy is a heavy, heavy buddy. Um, that is the identification tag. Just so you can get a good look at it. Um, yes. Now, we think this item is 1940s. Um, just now, this is an e a research estimation just based on the way the logo looks. Um, that I've seen in research that I have done on just the way the advertisements present the sterilizer as, and the way the castle lights and sterilizers is put on the advertisement. Um, that is pretty much it on that bad boy. 
This guy I bought for sixty dollars on yeah. This guy I bought for sixty bucks. Pretty good. Pretty good condition. Um it's pretty dirty in the in there though, but um we do plan a full restoration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um the derelict queen. Um I did this video for you, so shout out to you. Um yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, make sure to follow, like, share, comment. Comment any questions you have, and my team will try to answer them as best as possible. Thank you, and have a great day.